let us discuss about anti leprotic drug in land anti leprotic drug the first drug we are discussing is clofazimine we are discussing is clofazimine clofazimine it is a leprostatic drug okay it is a leprostatic drug and it has also it has also got anti inflammatory effect this anti inflammatory effect is used in the treating of leprosy reaction okay this anti inflammatory effect is being used in treating leprosy reaction the mechanism of action of this clofazimine is it interferes with the template function of dna of mycobacterium leprae okay the mechanisms are mainly three mechanisms in that the first mechanism is it interferes with the template function of the dna of mycobacterium leprae it also alters the structure of membrane okay it also alters the structure of membrane due to altering is in the structure of membrane there is alteration in the transport function of the membrane and third mechanism is it also disturbs the mitochondrial electron transport chain okay these are three important mechanism by which clofazimine can act and if we give this clofazimine alone then the response will be very slower the response will be slower and if you give it alone there develops resistance within 1 to 3 years okay if you give it alone two things can happen one is the response will be slow and the and resistance can also develop within 1 to 3 years and sometimes even this clofazimine can can kill can can be used in dapsone resistant leprosy okay it even dapsone resistant leprosy can respond to clofazimine coming to pharmacokinetics clofazimine it's a orally active drug about 40 to 70% of orally administered drug is um, orally administered drug is absorbed through git and it accumulates in the macrophages and subcutaneous tissue in the subcutaneous tissue it can be seen as needle shaped crystals and it can the entry into the csf is very poor and the half life is almost 70 days as it has got very long half life it can be used in intermediate therapy okay let me discuss, let me revise it once again it is oral active drug almost 40 to 70% of oral active oral administered drug is absorbed through git and this drug it accumulates in macrophages as well as in subcutaneous fat in subcutaneous fat it can be seen as needle shaped crystals entry into csf is very poor and half life is almost 70 days and coming to adverse effects the adverse effects can be divided into skin and git symptoms in skin we usually there is reddish black discoloration of skin there will be, especially in exposed part exposed parts okay in exposed parts there will be reddish black discoloration and there is also discoloration of hair and body secretions and dryness of skin and itching will also take place sometimes these symptoms will be uh, troublesome to the patient okay and there are there are there is acne form eruptions and phototoxicity and conjunctival pigmentation will also be there due to conjunctival pigmentation there will be cosmetic problem okay and skin will have reddish reddish black discoloration of skin and discoloration of hair and body secretion dryness of skin and itching acne form eruptions and phototoxicity conjunctival pigmentation coming to git symptoms the early git symptoms are mainly due to irritant effect of clofazimine and the late symptoms are due to accumulation of clofazimine in the sub submucosa of git okay and the symptoms usually are nausea abdominal pain anorexia and enteritis due to this enteritis there will be intermediate loose tools and then move into this clofazimine it is contraindicated in early pregnancy and it is also contraindicated in liver patients and kidney patients the uses are mainly it is a component of multi drug therapy for leprosy okay it is a component of multi drug therapy for for leprosy and it, it can also be used in the treating of leprosy reaction i told you this in leprosy reaction the anti inflammatory effect of clofazimine is being used okay 
this is about clofazimine in the next lecture we will discuss about dapsin okay thank you for watching